Now, I'm going to show you this. This is an insulated picnic rug. Bear with me. This is another insulated picnic rug. See here, this is another insulated picket rug that is tucked under this here because that's what the cage is on. That's, that's two towels. Here's another towel, and in here it's so warm. I open it up and the heat hits me. Now, I check them several times a day. I don't check them overnight because of the cold. I check them at night before they go to bed. So I need, they need water. I knew they would. So I want to try and show you them. There's, um, and they're quite docile because it's dark in here. I'm just keeping them all in here because we lost one. So um, I should try and show you how big they are. Hi, baby. You're nice and warm. You're very docile, aren't you? I think this is this is the smallest. I want to get you the smallest to show you. The one that died was smaller than this. Oh, it's okay. I know. You're feisty. I know. I know. I'm mean. I know. See, they're only little. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, that's. <coughs> I've got to spay you. These ones. <coughs> Well, four weeks old. These little lavender ones. <coughs> Some of these are a bit old. Um, so it's a four week old lavender one. So that's all right, little. It's all right, baby. It's all right, baby. <coughs> and this one's a bit smaller. So I think some of these were three weeks old. Judging by how small they were compared to the ones that were definitely four weeks old. That one's a bit bigger. And the one that died, I think I may have let it get cold at night. Because I had them in separate cages and it was... <coughs> Sorry. I had them all in one cage. And I thought, oh, they'll be fine. I separated them out and one died. So, you're okay. I'm just, it's okay. I'm trying to get you a four-week-old one. One that I know is definitely four weeks old, yeah. Here. So, this one's four, four, four and a half weeks old. I know. The only issue with this setup is I was giving them sun. I can give them a bit of sun now. <coughs> I might open it up to give them sun. It's just, it's going to pour with rain, that's why... I'll keep them warm. So I need to give them some water and I keep their food up. They've got three water sources. Four. I give them, I've put in smaller bowls so they can't get squashed. So this is a water source. That and that. Three bowls and one in the corner. They've got no water. <coughs> I'll feed them. I'll see if I can do it in front of you. Because you'll see them all going berserk for the water. It's okay, babies. Now, <clears throat> I should rinse it out, but I want to show you. Yep, they're all thirsty. Here, I'll put this one in the corner. Not that one? Here. You can't see what I'm doing. I'm just putting up the one that's in the corner that's <clears throat> very hard to clean out because it's fixed. <clears throat> I might fill up the other one. Let's see if I can video the whole thing with one hand while I'm doing it. I need to get a. I give them some mealworms and chicken starter. I need to check them all. It was my, my fault that one died. I, I think I dropped my game. And I know. <coughs> 
Some of these probably don't need heat, but it's wet, like it's been getting really cold at night. Where we are, it's really cold. Even though it's on the central coast, it just, it's friggin' freezing. I know, you all need some drinks, don't you? You're in the water bowl. I know, there's not much room for them. There's a perch in here, but they're all still young and... <coughs> they're on one of the dog crates. <coughs> I love them so much. And I think that they're just docile with me because it's dark. Because I found that at night time, I can get my guinea fowl to perch from the larger ones. Like they're still Keats, but they must be getting on to four months old. They're three or four months old. They'll perch on my hands and I can move them and put them into their crate. I was really happy to see how they all, um, yeah, they're all getting a chance to get to that. I won't be able to Oh, that's because these birds have probably followed. <clears throat> Sorry about my nose. So, I'll stop at Slinky. So there's four pied, and then there's one, two, three, four, five, six, is that right? No, there should be 11 in here, yeah. One, two, three, four, hang on. One, two, three. No, there should be, yeah, there should be 11 in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah. Four pied and... Yeah, that's it, yeah. Seven lavender. And outside I've got two pied and two lavender babies. And they're more like eight weeks. Seven and eight weeks. <clears throat> so these would be four and five weeks. <clears throat> I don't think there's a six week old in here. And he had two separate hatchings, so. <clears throat> the others out there are a bit bigger. I know, I'm going to get you some food. It's just so warm in here, it's really good. Yeah, they're getting to this corner one and drinking. But what I'll do is I've got two sources of feed, plus I just scatter some on the ground. And I'll clean it out after the, um, it doesn't really smell. I'll clean it out after the floods. <coughs> I don't want to dismantle it at the moment because it's just so warm in here, I want to keep them warm. I don't want a draft coming through or anything. I'm probably being overcautious, but I think if I had been overcautious, we might have had that last one live. Because the lavender were on heat, the, 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 the pied weren't, but she lost five of them from the cold. So um, I think they'll probably outside too young. That's my opinion. And um, just knowing how cold it gets here and with the wet, I just don't want to risk it with them being outside. Because from everything I know, they don't cope with getting wet. And the little keep that spent last night outside the coop with the others, he was under a, a table with the other guinea, guinea fowl, Keats and the ducks, and he, he or she did fine. I know. You sure are beautiful. I know, you're all lovely. You're going to have a good life, okay? I'll get you some grain. I'll get you some grain. I don't want you dumping it. Thanks for watching. <laughs>